Well, this is the uh, this is the Snapchat video that we're talking about, Caitlin. It's the second video from Paul Murdoch's phone that was shown in court. And while it does show this very lighthearted moment between father and son, prosecutors seem to be using it to lay the groundwork that Alec Murdoch showered and changed clothes after allegedly killing his family. I work for Snap Incorporated. This employee from Snapchat was called on to testify for the state so she could authenticate this video. The video was extracted from Paul Murdoch's phone months after he and his mother Maggie were killed. The username is listed here as Paul9499. You don't see Paul on the video, but you hear him laughing at his father, Alec Murdoch. <laughs> Did you determine in reviewing the records whether Excuse me, that account sent out that particular video. Yes, it was sent on the same day, June 7th, 2021, at 23, or I'm sorry, uh, 7.56 hours Eastern Time. 7.56 p.m., the night of the murders. That's less than an hour before prosecutors say Paul Murdoch's phone ceased all activity, which they say was about 8.49 p.m. Remember, Alec Murdoch told investigators he hadn't seen his family since supper time, that he discovered their bodies and called 911 at 10.07 p.m. What's especially significant about this video, besides the timestamp, is what Alec Murdoch is wearing in it. Notice the long pants and the short sleeve blue shirt. Testimony shows when police responded to the 911 call a couple of hours later, Alec was wearing something different, shorts and a white T-shirt. They're foreshadowing their effort to prove that somehow he showered off, washed his clothes, made those clothes disappear, and changed clothes. On cross-examination, the defense seemed to try and show that perhaps someone else might have known where Paul Murdoch was, based on his Snapchat. And that person killed Paul and his mother. Is it possible for, um, I, mean, I don't know how it works, for some or all of Paul's friends to have access to his location through the app? Yeah, if he, if he made his settings visible, his geolocation visible to his friends, yes. That plays right into what Alec Murdoch told investigators after the killings, that Paul had been receiving threats following a boat crash he was involved in. A young woman died in that crash, and Paul had been charged with driving the boat drunk and causing her death. On the issue of motive, out of the jury's presence, the judge allowed testimony from this state witness. The chief financial officer of Alec Murdoch's former law firm told the court she confronted Alec about hundreds of thousands of dollars in missing funds just hours before his wife and son were killed. The judge hasn't decided if he'll allow testimony about Murdoch's alleged financial schemes. He's accused of defrauding clients of nearly $9 million before he was disbarred. Had the firm received this $792,000? No. Did this matter ever come to your attention again at a later time? Yes, that would have been in September um, after we found some other misappropriations and we had confronted Alec and he had resigned. Prosecutors say Alec killed his wife and son to distract from his alleged financial fraud and prevent it from being exposed.